Hello, my name is Matt Tinney and I'm a solutions engineer with Ironclad. I'm going to talk to walk through today how Zip and Ironclad can be integrated together as part of a purchase request process to allow the process itself to be handled within Zip while the contracting portion is launched in Ironclad from Zip to allow contracts to get reviewed, negotiated, and ultimately signed as part of an end-to-end request process. Let's jump in. So I'm going to be acting as a member of the marketing team and I need to submit a purchase request for a software to get more licenses with Pardot. So I'm guided as a marketing user through the request process by Zip where I can enter and select all the appropriate details for what I need reviewed. And so I'm going to select the appropriate options within here and get this submitted and then we can move on to the request process. Um, an important part of this is that I have received a MSA from Pardot, so I'm going to indicate that and then upload it uh, in the next step. And this is what's going to be sent over to Ironclad as part of the review. So I've uploaded that part, my Pardot contract, entered all the necessary details, now I can submit the request. And so now the zip process is going to initiate, pulling in the necessary approvers, mapping out the process that's going to be followed. So we have an initial procurement review and FP&A uh, approval that need to happen. So we'll, we'll act as if those have occurred. And now we get to a third party contract review. Now this is where I can, as a marketing user, select the contract that's been uploaded. So that Pardot contract and be able to initiate the workflow, the legal workflow to Ironclad from within Zip. So we'll see here that the workflow is going to be launched inside of Ironclad for the contract to be reviewed. We're going to get status of that from within Zip. So Zip is going to maintain a, uh, a status of what's happening with the contract, who's needed for, uh, who, who's being looped in for approval. Uh, and then ultimately I can jump over to that task to check in on what's occurring. So. Now we've got a MSA that I've submitted, reviewed, and launched within Ironclad. So this is a new workflow where a member of the legal team has been pulled in for review. So switching hats now to, to as a member of the legal team now, I can see here that we've already got three clauses that have been flagged that need to be reviewed. So let me go in and check what those clauses are that have been identified by the Ironclad AI playbook system. So I can see here, we've got a governing law with a jurisdi jurisdiction that's not standard for us. We've got a non-solicitation clause, which we don't allow. And then the payment terms here are, the, the duration of the payment terms is again, non-standard. So I'm just gonna click the AI assist button within Ironclad to draft up the changes for me automatically that adhere to the standards that we've configured within this uh, vendor agreement workflow. So it's going to add in California, remove the non-solicitation clause, and then put 45 days, which is our preferred standard, into here. So I will draft these changes up, and now I've got everything looks good playbook-wise, and I can save this as a new version that I can now send over to Pardot for review. So at this point, the normal workflow process would occur where I can email the document to my Pardot contact, contact uh, the Pardot contact that, that we're working with. I can, we can exchange uh, red lines, work on this, and ultimately get to approval uh, of the contract. And once we have approval, it can be sent out through Ironclad the way that you would normally expect and, and ultimately flow back into Zip to be to to be stored. So let me get this signed real quick. All right, everything has been signed. Uh, by the way, while that's in process, I can do a refresh within Zip, or ref Zip will maintain status, so we can see now that we have a contract that's in the signed stage. And then once I get a fully executed contract back from Ironclad and have that approved within the repository on the ironclad side that will fully update the zip process so that we know that we've collected the signature everything's been completed and now we can move on automatically with the process and at this point let's say the IT and security approvals can take place we can initiate uh, issue the PO and then the uh, process can be completed uh, and the final part is that the document is actually stored also within Zip. So Zip does pull back 
the contract that was signed uh, and, and it can be, you know, so I can see here what was executed and everything from within the zip side. So that is the end-to-end -end process from ironclad to zip where everything uh, can be completed seamlessly within the zip platform uh, while also initiating and completing a vendor uh, contract request within ironclad. So thank you for your time.